Let's cross borders now. The story of 28-year-old Flavian Oweno, a Kenyan sentenced to death in China, has been a topic of discussion in the country for the last two weeks. The young lady, alleged to have been peddling drugs, was set to die by the hangman's nose in Beijing. But now she will face life in prison or a prolonged sentence. Timothy Otieno explains. When the story of a Kenyan set for execution in China broke last week, it instantly became a trending topic in Kenya. Kenyans on Twitter reacted to the news with a lot of passion and perhaps for a reason. It would have been a heartbreaking ending for a Kenyan to be executed in a foreign land by provisions of a judicial entity. But it seems Flavian's Owino may not make history anymore. This week, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs intervened in her case, and now her death sentence has been overturned. The question of the death penalty, though it is there, the execution has not been carried out. It has been established that Ms. Owino is indeed alive and in a prison in Wanzhou, a town three kilometers from the capital, Beijing. <laughs> For her family, the news has been received with some measure of relief. We thank the government as a whole, because even now our ambassador, Mr. Kenyanjui, is there and is still working on the issue. Her case has been reviewed and now the Kenyan government is hoping to have her either serve a life sentence or a specified time period in jail, a scenario available in the Criminal Procedure Code for China. She will, however, not be able to have her sentence here in Kenya. Kenya does not have a bilateral treaty with China for prison swap. But for her family, the thought that her life has been spared is all that counts. At the moment, we have hopes because the family lawyer has been able to speak to us and he has given us updates on what's, uh, what is happening over there. So we, we know that we'll be able to see her one day. Her sisters glimpse at her photo with the hopes that they will get to at least speak to her on phone. This as they plan to conduct a fundraiser to hire a lawyer in China who will handle her case. So when the news broke about the possible execution of Flavian's Oino in China, her family believed they may never see her alive again. But with the latest developments in this case, there's a renewed hope that they will be able to see their sister, even if it is behind bars. Timothy Otieno, KTN, Nairobi.